Just so let's welcome in uh, D-backs uh, manager, Tori Lovello. And Tori, it is uh, Fran Charles, Hall of Famer Jim Tomey, and Bill Ripken here with you. And I'm going to go first. Congratulations. I know the D-backs picked up your option for, for 2023. You have to be excited about what you're seeing from your young group of uh, players because uh, you guys have won 15 of your last 25, four in a row. When you look ahead and you start to think about what the future can look like. Yeah, for sure. You know, yes, the, the, the highlight we just watched is a perfect example of, of the type of player that we have coming through our system. Corbin Carroll jumps up out of nowhere, um, comes up in a big situation and, and collects his first base hit uh, and gives us a, gives us two big, two big runs to score uh, the go-ahead run. So, yeah, we're super excited about him and others, right? We have Alec Thomas, Dalton Varsha. The list is on, goes on and on. And we have a lot more that are coming, and that's just uh, a credit to our development. Everybody in player development has done an unbelievable job of taking these kids and, and teaching them the concepts and dressing them up and getting them ready for this level. Uh, Tori, we put up that list about the comeback wins, and you're on a list with some team that have an awful lot of firepower. Um, I'm not necessarily slighting the D-backs, but I wouldn't say the D-backs have the firepower that those other teams have. Does that one way or another mm -hmm. tell you something a little bit more special about your group, where they can come back with not necessarily going bridge to climb yourself back into a game? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. We know uh, what we got to do to win baseball games. We got to be very, very feisty at home plate. We got to be stubborn to the pitch that we're looking for. Um, we got to follow the process and we got to get on base. And then we got to have somebody that's going to come up there and slug. So I think we've done a really good job of balancing that out. And, you know, we were a young team at the beginning of this year. Very, and we're still a very young team. And it's a process that takes time. It's a lot of conversation. It's a lot of trial and error. Uh, a lot of hardship at home plate. But for right now, things are coming together. Um, and we know what we got to do. On a nightly basis, we gotta we gotta get guys on base. We gotta pick up the baseball on defense. We gotta get good pitching. We gotta have some timely hitting. Last night, it all came together in two perfect innings for us. Hi, Tori. Jim Tomey. How are you? Good, Jimmy. Good, good. Hey, cool moment for me. So in Philadelphia, Dalton Varsho was a young boy. He used to come up, sit by my locker. Same thing with Alec Thomas in Chicago. For me, a very cool moment now watching them progress and become the players they are. What, what have each of them done that has impressed you the most? Yeah, well, they're born in a bat bag, right? You know that they, they've been in baseball their entire life. And, um, and Dalton was the first to arrive a couple years before Alec. And, you know, Dalton is just so politically correct and he understands everything he's trying to get to on a baseball field. He is stubborn to the things that he believes in. He knows what he wants to get to to be the best version of himself and accepts the coaching. And he's very dynamic. He's got a lot of tools to go out there and, and take care of business. Alec Thomas, much in the same. You know, we're just picking up on a lot of his great attributes. He's one of the best center fielders that I've ever seen. And I've been around a lot uh, over the past 30 years in baseball. But on top of that, they all have ba great baseball IQs. They, they are politically correct inside of the clubhouse, inside of the dugout. They're asking questions. They're fearless with how they're approaching the game, and they're going out and getting the job done. And, and Tori, I mean, what about uh, your starting pitcher tonight, Zach Gowan, a 27 mm. and a third a scoreless innings. You know, when people talk about great pitching years, you know, Zach shouldn't be forgotten here. He's had a, a great year. What does he attribute his success in 2022 to? Yeah, I think it's just walking his fastball around the zone. He's He's been really good with strike one over those past 27 innings. And once he gets ahead of you, he's got some very dynamic weapons that he can finish you off with. He follows a great game plan. He studies as good as anybody I've ever been around. So when he takes him out and he's out there, he knows exactly what he's trying to get to. You'll see him pull his card out of his pocket. He's very diligent. He understands what each hitter can and can't do, and he's going to attack those weaknesses. It's really a 3-4 pitch mix, mix on any given night. And when he gets that thing moving in the right direction, it's going to be a real good night. For him. All right, and one more before I get out of here. By the way, Zach, mm -hmm. a 266 ERA, lowest of his career. We were talking about spoilers earlier, and I'm sure you probably see it a little differently. Mm -hmm. But bottom line, do you do you relish the opportunity to play that you're playing the Phillies right now? Do you relish the opportunities in your club to play these teams who are trying to fight and get in uh, the postseason in October? 
For sure, for sure. You know, we have some goals and we have some things that we want to accomplish, but we talk about going one and zero every single day. That's our mindset. We just keep it as simple as possible. But yeah, we know the Phillies are in a race, and then we got the Brewers. We know uh, the Padres are, are in a race. So yeah, they're meaningful games. Um, we love it if they're meaningful for us, and who knows, they might be. But if we can go out and play good baseball, we know we can do, and that's all that matters. All right, then uh, Gallon is from the Philadelphia area, so tonight might be a little bit more special for him as well. Tori, uh, congratulations on all your success. Thanks for spending some time with us. Okay, boys. Talk to you soon. All right. Tori Lavella, one of the good guys in the game, no doubt. And D-backs are rolling.